Stephen joined um, the service because of 9-11, like most of the soldiers did. He was only in 10th grade at the time. Um, his older brother, though, was over at the towers, and he was very worried about him. Once he got out of school, he just kept saying, I'm going to, you know, take care of this. Um, my brother's hurting, and uh, I don't want anybody to come into America again or hurt my brother. I'm going to go kick their butts. I was just behind Stephen after that, and he went off to boot camp and then joined the 82nd Airborne. And four months later, he went off to, off to Afghanistan. When he was, um, she had a very hard time when her brother was killed. I, we all did. It's, I don't mean it. But when he took it really hard, um, she, she said, Mommy, uh, I, I can't do this anymore. Um, Stephen's in Afghanistan, and I'm waiting for him to come home. So I just said, okay. I mean, I, I let that go because that's how she was dealing with it. Um, but she, she finally came to terms with his death. And she just realized, you know, I know Stephen's not here, and she was gone. She, she, wanted, she cried a lot. She wanted her brother, and I could not fix it. You know, as a, as a mother and a father, you always try to fix problems. You do the best you can. And this was one thing I couldn't fix. So, I lost my daughter. Well, well, the one main thing that I always pointed to as far as trying to help the community and help others is that our son volunteered to do that. And now we've been drafted. That's how we look at it. Mm -hmm. That we, we're trying to follow his footprints and we're trying to follow his dedication to helping others. We don't have any other choice. That's how we look at it. And, and groups like Hope for the Warriors, they, it's part of our therapy. It winds up being part of our, our commitment to carry that baton that was dropped in Afghanistan. That's, that's yeah. what we try to do. They make you feel like part of a family. Yeah. And they are there to listen to your problems and listen to what your, your needs are. I'm, and we, we've seen them help so many different individuals and families through all these different events that we've been in, and we know what they've done for us. Even though Stephen, we lost Stephen military, um, Tina Atherall, the executive vice president, she will not leave out my daughter. She will, she will remember Stephen and she will remember Lenny. So, and I run in honor of my son and my daughter, but I don't know, to be honest with you, if another organization would have done that, but uh, for the Warriors certainly has. She's a casualty of this war and, and they, they treat her as one. She's never left out. The Koch family is not alone. When their soldier went to war, the family fought with them. And at Hope for the Warriors, we work tirelessly to support America's veterans and their families. But we can't do it without your help. Please visit www.hopeforthewarriors.org and show your support by donating tonight. With your help, we can assure that every American veteran returns to the safe, supportive community that they deserve.